Okay, so Tam and I just purchased our tickets for the corn maze, and very ominously, the clerk gave us this map and some instructions on what to do if we got lost. So, if I wasn't already a little bit nervous, well, my anxiety just went from maybe a four up to about an eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you feel about it? Yes. Yeah, I, I have a little bit of trepidation here too. Not a fan of closed in spaces. If you look here, these are, these rows are packed pretty tight. All right, folks. Here goes nothing. All right, folks, here we go. Now, the first thing I notice is that they have this fencing up, which I'm glad of, that protects us from he who walks behind the rows. Ooh, further and further from the entrance. We are here at our first choice of directions. Let's look at the map. I have no idea. I am already lost. <laughs> we uh, have, we have come. What would you say, Tammy? About oh, 50 feet. about fifty feet into the corn maze, <laughs> we have come to the first turn. We have a map, and I am already lost. What, what did you just say, Tammy? <laughs> If you don't know where we're going, we ain't going. Well, Tammy, <laughs> this is this is why it's an adventure. Yeah. That and the police coming to get us out of here after everyone else is gone. And yet, another choice of turns. I. I don't know. Look at that map. The map, honey, at this point, the map is pretty much useless. Oh, no. I have no idea uh, where I am on the map anymore. So we're just kind of... Uh, Screwed. Well, no. We're, we're <laughs> just going to find our own way through the maze, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm seeing other life forms through the corn. But then again, we saw that in that movie last night too, didn't we, Tammy? Yep. Okay, here's the thing about a corn maze. They, they set them up kind of like a maze uh, <laughs> where you have choices. And uh, still don't have a, any clear idea. That's a pretty house sitting over there just outside the field. I wonder if we screamed if anybody there would hear us. Yet more decisions. Okay, now. Okay, Tam, back in the day when I'd play the, the walkthrough text-based video games a long time ago before there were graphics, you always were supposed to stay to the right. Stay to the right, keep to the right, always go to the right. So, so far... Never heard of that. That's in a video game. I don't know oh, if the same Lord principle applies, <laughs> applies to a corn maze, but I'm just going to keep going right and see what happens. It's still daylight, so I'm okay for now. Tim, is there not something just inherently creepy about a corn maze? Yeah. Okay, let's stick with the plan. Go to the right. More choices. I guess we'll stick with going to the right. Okay, Tam, even though we're hopelessly lost <laughs> at this point, I'm okay for right now because you know what? I hear other human voices yeah. out there. As long as I hear other people. If we were out here and there was no sound and I couldn't find myself right now, these, these orange fencings 
would not stop me. I would be out of here one way or another. But for right now, I'm okay. There's other people out here with us. Sticking with the plan, going to the right. We are very lost, honey, but I'm sticking with the video game principle of finding your way out of a maze. So Tam, yes. is this the most fun we've ever had making a vlog before? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> being hopelessly lost in a cornfield? <laughs> being, being trapped in a Stephen King short story? <laughs> Folks, I have some hope. I don't know. Children of the corn. So folks, applying the text-based video game principle to corn maze navigation, it looks like we have actually found the end of this corn maze. We made it through using the video game principle. So once again, folks, Mike and Tam, unable to read a map, stripped of our GPS, it's in the car, but applying the principles of gaming, we were able to escape. I can't believe it. From this corn maze.